Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Yes, I am very, very sick right now. I have not uploaded in quite a while. It's been like four days at this point in time. I am so sick. I am still very sick. My voice is going to go very, very croaky. And you kind of saw that I was getting sick towards like the ends of um, the last few videos. But yeah, today we are back in Dungeon Quest because we have leaks confirmed leaks and a new logo type leak as well so we're gonna be just talking about that today so let's just jump straight into it i'm sorry at any point in time that i sound really croaky or anything it's it's been a while since i've talked this much <laughs> i've been trying to talk all day and it's just not working so i kind of finally got up the chance to be able to record this video so yes Today, we have not one, but two spells, as well as two images from the brand new logo. This usually means that an update is around the corner. So we could get an update either, I wouldn't say this weekend, unless they surprise us with it, but I would probably say next weekend is going to be our update week, and or we might actually get it during the middle of the week, like last time. I got a theory about what our dungeon is going to be this time due to the logo leaks that we currently have, which were leaked by Epic Drew in the general chat of the Dungeon Quest Discord. I was not online during that time. I was sick in bed, so <laughs> thank you so much to the person that they got them for me and put them on Discord because you are a lifesaver right now. Oh my goodness. But yeah, we're going to start off with the logo because this kind of is amazing and we haven't done one of these in a while. So it's just, just give me a little bit of time here, guys. So the first image I'm going to show you guys today is this. So we have a green color, we have a blue color, and we have our normal Dungeon Quest gray slash bluey gray black type color that we usually get. And it's a weird color scheme. Usually we actually see the color schemes in either the background of the, the edge of the logo or we see some colors from the middle of the logo. I don't know where this would be in the logo, unfortunately. It looks like it could possibly be on the top left, top right, or top middle, just by the positioning that I can currently see. This gives me vibes. It doesn't give me like heaven's vibe. It could possibly be a jungle or forest map, but I have a bigger theory than that. I would love for it to be like a ruins map. That'd be really, really cool. But I think one map is long overdue that everyone has been wanting. And that map is going to be an underwater map. That is my biggest theory right now, is an underwater map. Mainly because the DQ leaks Twitter, which is not official, which is just like some random person that scans through inventories, which is really, really terrible thing to do, said on Twitter that um, Blacksmith uploaded a trident model. So it could possibly be a trident and then these color schemes would match and it would possibly be a underwater slash Atlantis type theme. I think that would be really, really cool. But that's with the first image, and then we have the second image right here, which kind of confirms partially of the logo for me. If I would see this, I would say it was bubbles. Is it just me here? It looks like bubbles in a stone, or bubbles just coming out from something. I don't know. It could be like a, like a hot little spring or a geyser or something, but remember, this is a logo. Um... Personally, it's just my opinion of what I would love to see it to be. I think it could also be a really, really cool if it was a ruins map or something. But, I mean, they have tricked us with a logo in the past before, so I do not put it past them to make two versions of this logo and leak ones of the fake one like they did last time as well. But that's mainly it for the logo. There was a third image I was not able to receive, unfortunately, because I have not found anyone with a third image. Obviously, someone might, and I might go over that in another video within the next week just to give you guys an update on that and see if my theory changes but that is just my theory with those two images right now but now we have to go over these spells Vinny was so kind and he's already finished all of the new abilities which is amazing he just came back from RDC he's had so much fun there and he is ready and motivated to pump out updates for this as fast as he can because he just spoke to people that have inspired him to develop and he's now back in the grind people so it's amazing because we could have updates so so like far and few between it's been like eh but now we can get them like imagine every week I'd love every week, but at the same time, I see why that wouldn't be a thing. But these spells, we're going to go over these two spells right now. So I have a little mini video for you guys. It's just going to keep playing over so we can talk about it. So the first spell we see is like an 
kind of like the illusion boss but the ghost which is like above your head permanently this time and it looks like it's shooting orbs of light at each of the dummies whichever one you are closest to so it looks like is a lock-on spell which is kind of cool and then we have the second spell which is like a purple meteor shower type thing it's a dark purple meteor shower and it will shoot in where you're facing so it's not like just one line like the illusion blast or the like skull flames it is one that goes all over the place depending on where you move and the direction you're facing that's actually really really cool and unique and i really really like these spells obviously it looks like the they could both be made actually possibly both mage or one could be warrior and one could be mage i probably would like to have the proper one as a mage because that looks really cool but it could possibly be the insane one and i don't want it to be the insane one because that would be really really awesome if it was there but that's just like my opinion on the types of spells so yeah let me know what you guys think of this because I don't know. I, I love when I see these spells and it try and gives me some type of inspiration for these, but I don't know if the spells and the weapons don't really like match up half the time. So I could be using a spell that looks like the ice one, but it's actually not from the ice one. It's actually from the demonic one, which is really, really amazing that we have all of these different varieties of spells that are not particularly themed, so you can use them in any dungeon. And I wonder if any spells will become meta again, because when um, when the Underworld came out, Skull Flames was so overpowered in it, whereas within the next one, it wasn't. And Illusion Blast was the most overpowered one, which was from that dungeon. I don't know. Personal opinions is just kind of what I'm going for right now. I have really nothing to say other than that. So we could have either a jungle map, a temple map, or an, <laughs> or like, I don't know, jungle, temple, or underwater. I don't know. Like, maybe, maybe those three. I don't know. Oh, I'm trying to trying to get into Vinny's head right now and think of what he could think about. We've only gotten these technically two leaks, three, four leaks technically all over. And then we also have the fake Twitter account, account claiming that the um, model was updated was a trident, but that could also be a cosmetic. It could be an armor piece. It could be anything. He could even be working on other games. So I don't like rely on those things any much because as you noticed, um, the website's kind of changing on Roblox. Premium is going to be coming out soon, as well as they've just released a brand new catalog as well, where actually people can make their own items for the catalog, which is crazy. So people have been like ripping off limiteds right now, but I would love to see um, the Dungeon Quest armors. Like if we had to vote for Dungeon Quest armors to become a thing, I would love to see that. Or I'd love to see elves fedoras become a thing in Roblox. That'd be like the cutest things. I don't know. I'd love to see um, Dungeon Quest merchandise in the future as well. I don't know if someone has mentioned this before to either Vinny or Joy, but if you are listening, I would love like a Dungeon Quest shirt or like a hoodie. That would be amazing. And I think it'd be really, really cool just to do on the side. Obviously, if you wanted to, you could actually um give a promotional card with each order and then they could redeem an either enchant or cosmetic in the game for supporting you via that way. I don't know, just a thought, but I think that'd be very, very cool. So yeah, once again, I'm sorry that I haven't uploaded. I'm, I've been so sick and my last two videos have all been tower defense because I wanted to try something different because I didn't want to bore you guys with challenges, especially since I don't know when the next update is. Obviously, I will be doing some challenges still until the end of this dungeon and then we can start off with the new dungeon. Um, streaming, if the update comes out this weekend, I honestly don't know if I'll be able to stream. I uh, just depending on my health. <laughs> if I don't get better within a week, I'll probably be going to hospital just because it's just getting worse and worse as the days goes on. But I do currently have a voice. So I mean, that's some high hopes for me in the future at this point in time. But um, yeah, let me know your theories down below. What do you guys think this dungeon might be or what you think this update will be? People are suspecting that PvP is going to be coming or or raids are going to be coming into this one. I'm not sure if it is because I sh I'm sure Vinny would tell us if something like that was going to be implemented instead of a new dungeon. Um, I don't know, just personal thoughts. I don't think it's raids or PvP. I think it's a new dungeon and I'm super duper excited for it. So yeah, leave me your thoughts and opinions down below. But other than that, um, yeah. <laughs> 
that's basically all that I have on Touching Quest today. I haven't really been on much. Like, this is, like, my first time playing in, like, a week and a half on Dungeon Quest, which is absolutely crazy. I've been playing so many different games recently just to test them out. I've been grinding on Sword Burst. I've been grinding on Granny. I've been on... <laughs> tower defense <laughs> yeah, i've been on a lot of different games just to see what they are like so um yeah if you guys enjoyed today's little mini video make sure to like and subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel also hit the notification bell if you'll be notified every single time i post a video or start a stream yet again i am sorry for my voice and how i sound right now but i could not go another day without uploading for you guys it literally pained me to not upload and my friends understand the pain that I've gone through. They have literally had to stop me from like talking and doing anything just so I can be able to try and do one upload for you guys. So uh, yeah, thank them so much for that as well. So yeah, thank you so much to the people on the screen right now for being my current channel members. You guys are amazing. And if you want to learn how to become a channel member, just click the join button down below or on my main channel page. And I hope you guys have a lovely day or night, wherever you guys may be in the world. And I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. Bye guys. Thank you.